idea how this is going to work out. But I'm filming on a flip cam that my sister already had because she works in television. So I found this. And I was like, I'm going to try this. There's no harm. I'm just going to see how this goes. So this is going to be my March favorites. I have no makeup on. It's, it's I don't know, it's early to me. Um, it is, it's 11.32, but quite early for me. It's a holiday. So, yes. And this is going to be my March favorites. So, uh, I'm going to start off with beauty things. Uh, first of all, I have uh, this um, organic wear bronzer. Uh, I don't know what color it's in, but um, it just looks like this. I think it's in light or light to medium. Uh, that's just what it looks like. And it comes with a little brush at the back and a mirror, but I don't use the brush or the mirror. Then I have my Stila in the Moment palette, which I love. <laughs> and, uh, Really, I only use it for this color, because this color is amazing. I love that color. I hit pan on it, and I use it every single day. Uh, next, I have my concealer, which I recently got the Boing Concealer, Industrial Strength Concealer, which this concealer is amazing. Uh, I have the one in number one. I'm going to hair on it. Gross. Um, I have number one. This stuff is amazing. It's so heavy duty, like it covers anything. Redness, acne, everything. Uh, then I have my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which I absolutely love. One of my friends, um, she uses this in the bus, and I used it one morning. I was like, holy crap, I love this mascara. And I went and I, and I bought it, and it works so amazing if your lashes have nothing on them. Plus, if you have long lashes like I do and you curl your lashes, oh, it's amazing. Like, it just makes your eyes wide as hell. Like, so wide. It's, I have my Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof in Stingray, which is just the black one. Um, I use this to tight line all the time. I uh, rarely ever actually line my eyes. I just tight line top and bottom. And I love the way it looks now. I hated it before. Like, I tried tight lining uh, a couple years ago. And, ugh, I did not like it. But now I tight line and it looks great. Like, I really love the way it looks. And the Steel Smudge Stick is amazing. The pigmentation that it has is just wild. Um, I'll go hair and nails. So first, I have my Essie Top Coat, which... Um, is just the good to go, just the regular one, and this works really well. It's probably, it's not the best top coat that I've ever used, but it's up there, um, because it doesn't chip for a really long time, and it's cheap, it's not that expensive, and you see there's barely anything gone, and I used, and I've used it like five times already, I want to say. Shh, bud. Then, uh, on the hair side of that, I have the Color Tech, ooh, almost dropped it, uh, Color Shine Serum, which I've used it a lot, and there's barely anything gone. Um, you only need it to use a little bit, and it's uh, frizz-free, smooth, and shiny. So I just put like a dime or a quarter, well, mostly a quarter, and I rub it through my hands, and I just put it on the ends of my hair, and it makes my hair really nice and soft, um, and it helps split ends too. Um, it's not a split end mender, but it helps with split ends as well. And then in the random category, <laughs> this one's really funny. I have my diary, uh, which just looks like this. I got it a really long time ago, and I've only I only have like the only pages that I have filled in are these. Like, that is what I filled in and I've had it for like three years. So I've really been into writing in this because a lot of stuff is happening right now <laughs> in my life. So I like writing it down so that later I can look back and think, wow, like that actually happened. How can I forget about that? 
kind of thing. And the last thing that I have, oh, it's my favorite out of everything here. Um, it's this, actually, no, second last thing. So I'll do that one last. You guys probably already saw it. But in the random category, I love my Instagram. Instagram rocks. Like, I love my Instagram. I'll put my Instagram username below. If you have an Instagram, I Instagram all the time. Um, I Instagram funny pictures. Like this one time I paused one of Graveyard Girl's pictures. Like, and she was like, it was great. It was so funny. Um, so, yeah, go, go follow me on Instagram. Um, because I post a lot. I love checking my Instagram. I check my Instagram every single time that I'm online or that I have Wi-Fi. And the last thing, ugh, if you're a girl and you're between the ages of 12 and 20, maybe 18, you are going to love this book. It's The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. It's the first of the a trilogy, which is uh, just... There's this one, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer, which both of them just look like that. This book is amazing. It's the second time I read it. Um, I'm not very far, but... Oh my god, guys, this book, I wish it was my life. Like, I wish I could be Belly. Yeah, I think that's what her name is. Yeah, Belly. I wish, I wish I could have her life. So I'll read the little description that's on the back. Um, it says, When each summer begins, Belly leaves her school life behind to escape to Cousins Beach, the place she has spent every summer of her life. Not only does the beach house mean home away from home, but her favorite people are there. Susanna, her mother's best friend, and her son, Conrad and Jeremiah. Super sexy people, as they are described. Belly has been chasing Conrad for as long as she can remember, and more than anything, she hopes this summer will be different. Despite distractions from a new guy named Cam and lingering looks from Conrad's brother, Jeremiah's... Let me restart that sentence. Despite distractions from a new guy named Cam and lingering looks from Conrad's brother, Jeremiah, Belly's heart belongs to Conrad. Will he offer his to her? Will this summer be anything different? Oh, this book is amazing because I've already read it. I know exactly what's going to happen. Kind of. I kind of know what's going to happen. So those are all my favorites, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really quick, but I really need to post more often. I am completely out of ideas. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know because I'm completely clueless of what to film. I even Googled this morning. What kind of videos should I film and post on YouTube? And I got stupid answers. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Take the time to subscribe, because that's how we do it on the swamp. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, that's how we do it on the swamp. She has an Instagram. Yep, I Instagrammed her a couple days ago. So, yeah, I'm watching Dance Moms, so I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!